right, Achi, tell us a little bit about the realities facing girls in Ethiopia. Uh, okay, um, my name is Achi, I'm from Ethiopia, I'm 16 years old, and I am part of Let Girls Lead. Um, so, uh, to answer the first question first, uh, what drove you? Uh, what drove me to becoming a girl activist is because just saying no to what happens beside you, saying no to violence that happens to your sister, saying no to what happens to what's happening next door, saying no to the girl who's violated when she's walking to this when she's walking on the street, uh, because I may not be violated, but it is her story. It is the story of my mother, it's the story of my sister, it's the story of my friend, so it becomes my own story. And just saying no, that's the first step, because that is when we start not, not accepting it, that is the first step. It's because it has normalized that these problems are being aggravated. So saying no today is going to make a difference. Um, so in Ethiopia, um, as most of you know, it's just a poor country. Um, small number of um, schools, less access to education, less access to health, but most importantly, the culture and the way that we have lived and the way that we want girls to be, that is, that is the problem. We cannot point fingers. It's the way we have lived and we need to change that. And that is why in our families, women and girls are expected just to be housemaids or their expectations are lowered, they're underestimated. A girl who is at the top of her class is expected to be an accountant when she, become, when she can become a scientist. We need to say no, because that is the first step. We need to say that girl can become a scientist, because she can. She is at the top of her class, and she can be at the top of the world. That, we, that is what we need uh, to do. And uh, that is what drives me. Thank you. And that right there is why I love my job. Like, <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you, Rachi. Um, Harriet, how do you engage girls to overcome the challenges that they face in Uganda? Great. Harriet from Uganda. <coughs> Excuse me. I proudly say I grew up from the red light district of Uganda. And it's not something to be ashamed of, but to be proud of. Growing up and seeing a number of girls get into the vicious cycle of mother to daughter prostitution is something that always got me asking myself, is this the only option? Is there anything else that can be done about this? Can we simply watch on and move on without doing something about it? And this is when it came to my notice. It was my time to stand up. It was a time for me to do something about the world that I know. I formulated Rhythm of Life to basically empower the daughters of sex workers with an opportunity to education. This is something that would allow them to take other careers, take other paths than following their mother's footsteps. I wanted to see a new world where girls would come up and say, I am a daughter of a sex worker, and I am a psychologist. I may be the UN Women Executive Director. I am a doctor. And so what if I come from the rural district? Who says I cannot be anything? This is the empowerment. I've been doing since 2013, and this is something that is driving me day and night, to see a new world of a red light district, not as a curse, but a fountain that produces the basics of what society needs. Thank you.